Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create service section in Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the service section in Elementor, first of all, what we need to do, we have to go inside the pages and click on the add new page here. Alright, so now let's just click on add it with Elementor. Alright, so as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So from here, let's just click on the settings. Okay, so here I would actually change to page layout here. Elementor canvas and now you won't be able to see the header and the footer. Okay, so let's just drag the navigator here. All right. So now how can we create the service section? Okay, so for that, let's just click on the add container here. We're going to have a single column structure. All right. So after that, what we need to have, we would have the heading here. So I will actually have the two different headings. All right, so let's just add another heading here. Okay, so now we have to add the inner section here. So let's just add it here. All right, so now let's just align our heading into the center. All right, so second one would be services. Let's just go inside the style and click on the typography. And I would actually go here with pop-ins. All right. So we have to change the weight here. So that would be 800 and this would be 50 PX. Okay. So now this is looking better. Now let's just click on the first setting here. So this would be why it choose us. Let's just go inside the styling. Let's just go inside the typography and here let's just search for Rochester. Okay. And now what I need to do, I have to decrease the font size here to the 20 px and the weight would be 400 and I have to capitalize this. Okay. All right. So I think I have to make this 30 px. All right. So this is looking better. So now let's just click on the container here because I want to add the margin at the top and the bottom. Okay, so this would be 80 px and we would also have 80 px from the bottom as well. Alright, so now let's click on the services again. And I think I have to change the line height here. This would be 25. Okay, so this is looking better now. And I can increase the size to 60 px. Okay, and we can increase the line height to 30 px here. Okay, so this is looking better. So now let's click here and now what we need to do, we have to add icon box here. Okay. So let's drag this and put this here. All right. So first of all, what we need to do, we have to change the heading here. So for example, in the services, our first service would be web development. All right. Now let's go inside the icon here and search for the code. This would look fine. All right. So now let's click on the style here. And here, what we need to do, I have to click on the content here. So in the content, I would actually like to add some spacing here. I think it would be 15 px. Okay. So this is looking better. So now let's click on the icon here. So in the icon, if you want to change the color, you can simply change the color from here. If you want to change the size, you can simply change the size from here. Okay. So here, what I need to do, I would actually need to add the custom code for the icon here. Okay. Because I want to have the rounded icons. All right. So for that, I would need to add the custom code. Okay. So let's just click here, search for HTML here, drag this and put this anywhere on your web page. And you have to remember that the HTML code won't be visible on your page. Okay. So whenever you publish this page, the HTML code won't be visible there. Okay. So now what I need to do here, I have written down the code in the note page and you can see here, this is the code. All right. So I have to copy this from here. So let's just write down the style here. All right. So let's open up the note page and at the moment I would actually copy this part only. All right. 
icon styling copy this from here so you can simply copy this code from here okay you don't have to do anything else you just have to copy the code from here and now what we need to do we actually have to add the glass to our icon here okay so let's just go inside our icon box go inside the advanced setting and let's just write down icon styling here okay so as you can see here we have our styling on the icon okay as you can see here we also have the hover effect all right so now what i need to do i would actually have to change the size of the icon here okay so let's just change the size of the icon here i think 30 would look fine okay so this is looking fine and the hover effect is looking perfect as well okay so now what i need to do i would have to duplicate this column okay i would have to duplicate the inner section here now let's just do the right click and you can see the option of the duplicate here so you'd have to click here okay now what we need to do we have to do this again do the right click click on the duplicate and now you can see this we have the three sections here okay so now let's just delete this column here all right so now this is looking fine and now what i need to do i just have to copy this whole section and i have to duplicate this again all right so let's just click here and click on the duplicate all right so now you are able to see our services here okay so now let's just change the value here okay so this would be digital marketing and this would be graphic designing and this would be branding design and this would be video marketing and in the last we will have app design okay so now what we need to do we have to change the icon as well okay so let's just click here okay so for the app design so let's write down mobile click here and click on the insert so for the video marketing this would be video click this insert for the branding i think i can go here with the kind of book or something okay so i think this will look fine and for the graphic designing i would actually look for pain here okay so this would be it maybe or maybe this one and after that we have digital marketing so let's just write down digital here so we have this icon click on the insert okay so we have created the services section here so now what i need to do i would actually like to add the border between our services okay so let's just click here and here what we need to do let's just go inside the style go inside the border and i would like to add the border from right side and the bottom side okay so this would be solid i'll link the values so this would be right and this would be bottom okay so let's just click this again now go inside the border solid and now here what we need to do we actually have the value at the bottom and the right side so this will be three again from the right and the bottom side and after that we have the graphic so let's just select these values this would be solid again okay so this would be bottom only okay so now this is looking fine so now let's click on the branding design okay so here we're gonna have on the right side only let's just click here on the video marketing this would be in the right side only okay so this is looking better so now let's just close this Okay, so now you can see here we have added the border here so now what i need to do i actually have to add a dot in between here okay so how can we do this i would actually need to use the custom css i can so let's click here on the html and let's just go back to our notepad here and now what i need to do i have to copy in this code from here okay now let's just 
paste the code here and I have to add this class to the first one okay so let's just add the contain here and let's just add the contain here in the digital marketing as well all right so now this is looking better okay so let's just close this again okay so this is looking better so now what i can do here i just have to add some spacing in these services okay so let's click here and click here okay so this is looking better and we have to add the spacing on this as well three zero three zero again and this would be three zero as well three zero and okay so let's click here and i would have to add the padding here and now what i need to do i just missed one thing here i had to add the divider here so let's just add this here and i would like to add the element here this would be star and we have to align this into center and it would be dotted let's just go inside the style and here let's just click on the icon here so in the icon the view would be stacked and i would like to add the border radius here and we can change the size of our icon from here okay all right so i think 15 would look better maybe 20 and we can also add some padding if you want to 10 px and let's just click on the divider again we're gonna have to add a little bit weight here all right so this is looking fine and the gap is all right so now let's just go inside the content again and the width would be 20 percent only okay so this is looking fine and i can change the weight of our divider here so this can be two or maybe three okay so this is looking better okay so let's just change the color of our icon as well so that would be black color okay so this is looking fine now all right so now let's just publish this now let's just click on have a look and now you will be able to see our service section here okay so we have created this from the scratch in the elementor and this is looking really great here all right so this is how we can create service section in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel